Hi everyone, welcome to Every Day, your daily stop for virtual reality content. My name is Dee, and today we are revisiting Technolust. As you can see here, I did play Technolust back when it came out for the DK1. Technolust is kind of a uh, cyberpunk uh, adventure game in a dystopian future with access to lots of cool technology like virtual reality, augmented reality, 3D printing, things like that. And it's a lot of fun to explore. It's got multiple environments that all work together in a cohesive narrative. And it's, it's definitely one of the most polished and interesting games that has come out for the platform so far. Uh, this is not a full game. Uh, there was a Kickstarter for the full version of the game back in May. It was one of the most successful Kickstarters to date. It raised about $60,000, had about 1,500 people backing it, which is incredible in such a small community that we got that many people behind one title. And um, I, I, lots of people are excited about this game, and I'm excited to see about how it exploits the new features of the DK2 effectively to tell the story better. Uh, if you want to get the full version of the game when it comes out, or if you want to play this demo that I'm playing right now, you cannot just download it. You have to, uh, you have to pre-order the full game. Uh, I will provide a link in the description in order to do that. I highly recommend that you pre-order this game because it's going to be one of the most compelling demonstrations of the platform right off the bat when the final consumer version is ready and this full game is ready. Without further ado, let's jump into Technolust and explore the new areas and see how it feels different in DK2. Alright, here we are, entering the game. I see Iris Virtual Reality Biosystem V303. Oh, that's the actual version of this game, of this beta. This is version 0303. Connection terminated. You received a new private message before connection was lost. Please disable local uplinks and exterior connections to continue. Alright, well, I am now inside the game. Oh, this is so cool. It's, the contrast ratio right away is so much better in DK2. And every this room just looks so much darker. All the shadows look so much darker. And seeing these bright yellow lights contrasting with that darkness is just really effective. Anyway, it looks like we got some terrorism going on. Explosion rocks Die Roboto Cybernetics Tower. Mm. Okay. Oh, I like the way the light comes through the window and moves through the dust in the air. And you can not only see the dust floating around, but you can really see those light beams. That's a really nice effect. Was that globe there before? Is that the moon? Do I have a globe of the moon? Sure, why not? Why not? Alright, um, so we just got a new message on our computer. We have to disable uplinks. Oh, oh, it's reflecting in the screen. The uplinks are reflecting in the screen. That is nice. Okay, sorry, sorry. Disable uplinks to continue. So I can't read this message unless I disable these cameras. So let's go. You do not have the appropriate tools to disable that uplink. All right, so I played through the DK1 version of this. So I know where to get the tools that I require. Ooh, ooh, look at this. And I have positional tracking now. This makes everything better. Look at this, I can walk up to this lamp, I can be like, huh, interesting. I'm kind of leaning into the furniture here. What happens if I lean into the wall? Can I even do that? I'm gonna try it. What about this wall over here? Ah! Okay, I clipped outside of my apartment. Let's not do that. Alright. So they could really afford to do like one of those uh, Dreadhall style or Minecraft style things where it just gets dark when your head is inside the wall. But that's that's something that's relatively easy to add later on without having to interfere with the other gameplay. Alright, got my tools. One uplink disabled. Two uplink disabled. One over the door. It's so cool how I can just barely see that camera in the darkness. And those sparks are so bright, they leave like after images on my eye. Alright, enough music for now. I want to hear the TV. Alright, 
was this was this footage made for the game or, or are they taking like TV footage from some other place that just happens to fit the theme of the game I'm curious about that is that all the uplinks it is I can read my mail now playing new message hey dad it's me um chip this guy I'm going away for a couple days can you keep an eye on the cats for me I, uh, need you to watch those fat cats. The, the damn things have been chewing on my wires. I'm not you a cat sitter. That. Watch them for me. Thanks. I know you're being metaphorical. Warning, unknown attachments may contain malicious software. Please click decompress to confirm. I'm fine. The I'm file appears to be a schematic. Moving to work drive. Collect enough of the required components to build the item. Will do. Alright, so I'm pretty sure that guy was talking to me in code. He was wearing the mask and sunglasses and being all creepy. And I believe he, um... Ooh, check out this. What is this? It's like a roll of film, but it has like portraits. I don't get it. Whatever. Can I have it? No, I can't have it. So yeah, I think when he said, watch the cats, they're chewing on my wires, what he meant was that, like, the corporate overlords were interfering with his... Ooh, I found a can. Were interfering with his hacking, and he wants me to take care of the situation. I always get freaked out by this, like, industrial-sized toaster. Look at this. 1-7 panic, 3-9 okay. What kind of toaster has a panic button? This is ridiculous. Alright, get in there. Get in there. Is it toasting? Is it... To I can't... Where'd the toast go? There's no... It was a... It was a fake toaster all along. Alright. It's fine. I'm gonna pick up this game. Put it in my TV. Get in there. How do I play the game? I can't remember. I think I have to. Ooh. This credit stick is nearly depleted. It contains only enough for one soda. I found a credit stick. Awesome. Okay. Um. How do I. I want to play a game on my TV. Somebody let me do this. Alright, I don't remember how to do it. That's fine. I'm going to take this lamp. Um, books. Those aren't handy. I need. I believe I'm making an electronic component, so I need to look for things that are useful for building electronic components. Here's another lamp. Is that a DK2? It's just like the one I'm wearing. Man, this guy collects all kinds of old VR tech. I think this is an actual 3D scan of an actual DK2. I don't know how much they cleaned it up afterwards, but... It looks very much the size and shape of the original. So they did a great job on that. Alright. Um. Alright, that's not helpful. Um, what else do I require here? Carbon? Okay. Uh, let's not forget the can on top of the phone booth that everybody misses. More aluminum required. Really? All right. Oh, that's right. I have to buy a Coke. Okay. What drink is that? Whatever. Do I have enough aluminum? Apparently not. Whatever. I'm going to go get my carbon. So I have made some delicious toast, as you can see. It looks kind of huge. People always say the toast looks enormous in this game. It does. Maybe that's intentional. It's like mega toast. I have no idea. Maybe this guy really likes toast. Okay, I need to find more aluminum. Oh, there's another can. Excellent. There's a DK1. Ah, and my toast is burning. That's what I like to see. I like how the smoke goes right out of the ceiling vent like that. Apparently I've done this often enough that I just leave my ceiling vent open just in case. And there we go. Required components obtained. Schematic ready to print. It says hit enter to print schematic. Actually, you just click on the screen. Enter doesn't do anything. 
Whoa, it's working. The whole area is lit up. And there it is. It appears to be an auditory visual augmentation. Installing now. Yeah, what's happening to my vision? Whoa, whoa. I have analyzed the data from the schematic. It appears to give access to an encrypted data stream. I have added the data to my own systems. Detecting encrypted signals nearby. There is a signal piggybacking on the original billboard feed. A pirate broadcast signal. Very clever really. Using the thing the corporations will oh, maintain shit. broadcasting at all costs against them. We have aroused suspicion. Switching to mobile platform. Alright, they're telling me to is no longer secure. Get the fuck out. Alright, let's get out of here. I really like this effect. Once you add the audio visual, the entire apartment complex appears to be under lockdown. Okay, yes. We will have to find an alternative route. All right. So, like I was saying, um, the apartment complex is under lockdown, so we're gonna have to find a way to get out of here. And uh, I like how the audio visual augmentation. Once you install it, all light sources create these like blue bands, these blue horizontal bands that go left and right. It's a nice effect. That is, of course, the logo of Iris VR, who makes this game. You'll see a lot of advertisements like that all around. Exclusive feature, full tower bottom expansion kit. Is this an actual, like, one of their supporters? Huh. Okay. Well, that's cool. Cannon capturing. Interesting. The red letters on the black screen is one case where you can pretty distinctively see the screen door inside the rift because the resolution of the red pixels is actually quite a lot less than the resolution of the green subpixels. So red on black like that will show up as kind of a, a noticeable honeycomb mosaic with fuzzy edges around the letters. All right. Um, so this game has face look navigation. If I look that way and hit forward, I go that way. So it's... The easiest thing to use. I think it's quite sufficient for an adventure game like this. Waste disposal chutes also appear to be locked down. So I can't get out via the waste disposal chute. What I can do is use this internet terminal. Jack in to begin. Jack in. Whoa. Whoa. This green stuff is stuck to my face and... We are in the building's employee subroutine. Full access is currently restricted. So I can't do anything here. User privilege is limited due to lockdown, so I can't get in here. Someone is accessing the subroutine remotely. It okay, looks like then. they have given new access to the security directory. Perhaps we can lift the lockdown from inside. Trash. File restored. Maintenance staff data added to profile. A good hacker always checks the trash first. I love the aesthetic in this place, how everything has these neon lines around it. I think the only other thing I've seen anything like this is, um... Uh, the VR um, VR typing tutor, which also took place in kind of a, s a glowy cyberpunky world like this. Okay, welcome guard number 303. That's me. Just a regular security guard doing my job. To all CorpSec employees, corporate wants us to keep a close eye on all on-site ad boards. There have been several reports of vandalism in the area. Also note, a new law has been passed banning civilian use of EM blocking devices, including wire cages, metal foils, and EM blast schematics. You guys aren't going to stop me. The man won't keep me down. No way. Okay. So if I recall correctly, I need to go over into the next room here. 
Here we go. So I'm just gonna send a work request for the garbage chute to security. We should accept the request from the security terminal. So I just sent a janitor janitorial staff request to open the garbage chute. And then I'm gonna go to my guard station and be all like Somebody sent a work request. Work request granted. The waste hatch on this floor has been unlocked. We should exit through the main port. All right, let's get out of here. Ah, and we're back in the reality. Is green. The chute should be unlocked now. And the machine is shut down now. It's just so cool how we can jack into that environment and then just come out and then we're back here in real life. You know what I mean. It's not real life, but I'm going down the garbage chute now. Look at the detail on this texture. I will try to keep my dumpster diving jokes to a minimum. There are more serious ah, matters to attend to. There are flies. Flying right around my head. That is a nice touch. Okay. The detail in DK2 with the new resolution is just so much better. Just being able to walk up to these wall textures and really see them closely. It's a bit weird how I can't get any closer to that wall over there, but whatever. Like, just look at all this. So much detail in the textures that I can see inside DK2 now. Sounds like that ship is still up there. I better be careful. Ah, what was that? Somebody said meet me in the arcade. All right, that's fine. Up. Oh. Aren't you glad I suggested apartment insurance? We must get to a safe location, preferably something surrounded by a Faraday cage. The arcade seems like a good candidate. Is that video new, or is that the same video that was on the TV? Alright, I need to make my way to the arcade. Where is the arcade? Rifmax Theater. So they have a lot of advertisements for other VR games inside here, which I think is pretty cool. It's kind of a future where those games have taken over the world. Alley, Drive-In, and Arcade. Alright, let's see if we can find our way over there. Do I want to go this way? Look at that huge screen. So my apartment got blown up. Oh! Um, I'm just gonna run away now. See you guys later. You now have 15 seconds to comply. Run the fuck away. Terrorist groups like you have shown the harbor weapon and the desire to murder citizens of this great nation. I have personally issued arrest warrants for all known members and promised those responsible will answer for their crimes. Alright. Let's get inside here before they catch us. Did I hear it playing Sweet Dreams or Made of This? Sure, why not. So now I'm inside the arcade. This is a new section of the game that I've never been in before. I did not get... Uh, the last time I played this, they said to um, support the Kickstarter and buy the full version if I want to play this part. But the newest demo has a bit more content. Tokyo Run. Can I play this one? Whoa! 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 Tokyo Run is a very popular mind trip among the young. Rumors state that there is a message hidden within the feed. What the hell is this? This is messing with my head. Okay, there's some kind of hint for the game hidden in here, but I don't know what it is. Whoa. Whoa. 
and when the DK2 pixels turn off, I'm just in complete darkness. And then the screen flashes at me. Oh, this is so weird. Whoa. Mainframe access denied. Whoa. I will try to keep my dumpster diving jokes to a minimum. What just happened? There are more serious matters to attend what to. What am I doing back here? There's a little bit of lag as it loads one scene while you're still in the previous scene. That's one thing that could be improved, but it's it's not a huge deal. What's what's this arcade machine? This one's not even labeled. What arcade machine are you? No, you don't do anything. What about this one? Starfighter. You don't do anything. So many broken arcade machines in this joint. Seriously. And where are the staff? Does this place even have staff? Hey, sorry about all that cloak and dagger shit. We need to make sure you're the real deal. You've done pretty well so far, considering. Sorry about your meat locker, by the way. I'll make it up to you, I promise. Impress me, and I'll set you up with a hall pass and a new pad. I'm glitched, by the way. Anyway, beat my score, and we can talk more later. Interesting. I suspect we are to play one of these games and challenge her school. Strange girl. Okay then. So it seems like we have met we have met a woman named Glitch and our goal is to beat her score and then she will help us. She will presumably help us to replace our uh, apartment that got exploded which was not cool may I just say. Cleric, the speaker of truth. Oh, that's Blair Renault. So uh, the the developer of this game, Blair Renault, is um, he he lives in Toronto and he came up with the concept of this game. He does almost all the development and art for it, and he decided to 3D scan himself to put himself into the game, and this is him. And he's going to 3D scan other people and use them for NPCs because that was one of the uh, Kickstarter stretch goals to pay for those 3D scanning processes. So this is pretty cool. Can I use it? We do not have enough of the required tokens. Oh. She I is monopolizing the leaderboard. Unfortunately, we have no credits. Whoa. She has all the best times in this game? This is ridiculous. Can I play this one? No, I can't play. I don't want to play that one. I'm not going to beat somebody who has the top all of the top 10 scores. You don't have any coins. Maybe we could hack one of these machines. There's got to be one that I can play. What about Pac-Man? No? Now I wish I could really reach forward and grab these knobs. Actually have like an authentic Pac-Man arcade interface. What about this one? Can I play this one? No? I don't even know how this one works. Do you guys recognize this game? I don't recognize all these arcade games. Alright, this is just another internet terminal. Mortal Kombat, maybe? Whoa! Looks like I found one I can play. Tokyo Run is a very popular mind oh. trip among the young. Rumors state that there is a message hidden within the feed. So there was a brief warning for epileptics there. Heavy strobing. So let's let's get out of this game. Okay, so I accidentally clicked on the Tokyo Run machine, which is behind the Mortal Kombat machine. It's not what I wanted to do. Can I play this game? No. Can I play Galaga? You don't have any coins. Ugh. Maybe we could hack one of these machines. No idea what I'm doing. Double Dragon? Can I play that one? Apparently not. The last Starfighter that used this game was recruited by the Star League to defend the frontier against Zer and the Kodan Armada. I don't think you're Starfighter material. This AI is not very nice. 
May I just say that? What about this one? Okay, it's probably not going to be the one hiding in the dark. Oh, I recognize- that's Radial G! I've played that game. So yeah, they use a, they feature a lot of other just random VR games as uh, special guest placements in this arcade. Alright, there's got to be a game I can play. I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to find the machine. Okay, is it this one? Asteroids? Maybe? No? That's fine. Centipede. No. Rush and attack. Rampage. No. So many classic games in this arcade. I don't know how these machines still work at all. Maybe they're like fake arcade machines with microprocessors and full PCs inside and they're just emulating the old games. Okay, I'm gonna have to sort this out somehow. Hopefully YouTube won't tag me for using this copyrighted music here in the arcade. This maintenance port is active. Here we go. Here we go. Checking in. What the hell? Ah, we are inside the game's maintenance area. We will not be able to access the scoreboard directly from here, but perhaps we can find another way. Am I literally inside Radial G? I was not expecting this. Not at all. Interesting. Can I get inside the ship? No, I don't think I can. That's fine. I didn't know Radial G had a maintenance area. Ooh, I found some tools. Too good. Oh, I already have tools, don't I? Okay, I can't fix these up. Nails and nails. Motor oil. So cool. I'm inside a video game. I'm inside a video game inside a video game. Yep, look what I found. It's another terminal. You have activated the game's debug mode. We should now at least have access to the AI roster. I suggest that you add my program to the racer list. I should be able to beat the high score with minimal effort. Let's do it! Checking in. Alright, there's the high scoreboard. I'm getting a little bit of frame dropping in this part, but I'm doing okay. Add credits. I Upl am uploading a stripped down copy of myself to the game's racer list. The program will format itself when the race is complete. We should return to the game's maintenance level to see how she does. Alright, let's do it. Let's see how good my AI is at racing in Radial G. See if she can beat my score. The upload is complete. This should be quick. Whoa! Whoa, what's happening? I'm actually quite excited to see how she performs. Interesting how my AI, my AI is referring to herself in the third person there. Or a stripped down copy of herself. That is, that is not bad. I, I think, I think she is better than me at Radial G. What did I tell you? Completed with minimal Whoa. effort. Jacking out, now. It should be pretty telling that even like a perfect AI was only able to beat Glitch's score by five seconds. Alright, alright, you win this round. No need to show up. There's a Corsic ID card in the last and found behind the bar. That will give you access to the subway. I'll meet you there and we can talk about your reward. Don't keep me waiting. I'm already getting bored. I like her. She is a terrible person, and I like her. Okay, I'm going to go behind the bar here, pick up that key card that she was talking about. There it is. 
This ID card belongs to a mid-level CorpSec employee. It should allow us onto the tube system. Alright, let's go. How do I get to the subway? Do I go in here? This door seems to be locked. Okay, I need to get to the subway. How do I get to the subway? I don't know what I just picked up there. Oh, is it over here? No, I don't think it's over here. We do not have enough of the required tokens. Ah, uh, okay. I like the ticker there. Work, buy, consume, die. Anti-capitalism. Yay. All right. I need to find my way to the subway. Get out of here. All right, I'm back outside. How do I reach the subway? Tonight's top story, terror in the cyber sector. A level five citywide curfew. I'm holding shift to run at this point. I want to get there as quickly as I can. Is that a guy wearing 3D glasses? 3D glasses acquired. Well, that's interesting. That might be useful. So many interesting things just lying around in this game. Okay. I don't think I want to go here. That just leads back to the arcade. How do I get in the subway? Do I go through here? I don't. I don't think so. Oh, they're letting me pass. Okay. Let's go then. Let's go. You left your red box at home. Perhaps we can build another. Oh boy. Okay. I can't go any further and I don't know how to reach the subway. There's so much to explore in this game. We cannot undo this, but actions taken should be met with equal severity. In any altercation, both parties should be Okay. Well, look at how huge the city is and those rails going over and everything. That is so pretty. Okay. I'm gonna try and find the subway, see if I can find my way out of here. I might not be following the right path to find it at all. These guys in tanks are leaving me alone at least. Oh wait. I don't have a weapon. Let me in, let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Please. Okay, you've got I a made safe it. house set up for you in Chinatown. Unfortunately, that pass won't lift the lockdown, so you're gonna have to hook it. Come down to the track level and I'll guide you from there. Alright, let's go. Laser scanning. Oh, those are... Okay, it's showing me the cameras and their field of view so I can sneak past them. Um, this isn't comfortable. Can I use this thing? I don't think the subway area is actually finished, if I am not mistaken. I think this is about as far as you can get in the game right now. I don't know if I can even get past these cameras. Oh. I just walk up to them. The ID card should allow us onto track level, but we will not be able to board a train. Okay. Well, let's get down there then. Whoa. Look at this. I just, I am speechless. This whole place is, 
There's so much detail and there's so many different environments and there's so much stuff going on all the time. All these video screens and and all this music and there's just so many cool things all over the place. I just, I can't stop looking around and trying to, the train, trying to take it all in. I, I feel like this is like a real like city sized city. Like, like I'm not just wandering through a few small environments. I think the only the only world I've seen before with this level of comprehensive this level of comprehensive structure to it was the the world in Half Life Two. Customize your power, more origin ads. So here's the train, and it's not going to let me get on the train. So have I reached the end of the demo of the demo now? Maybe I have. This might be the end. And, and I mean, like I said before, the the high contrast. This and the line appears to be out of service. We should follow the tracks. Follow the tracks. Oh, we we have to walk down there. All right, let's do it. The train goes so fast. I wonder why it's not very loud. Is it because it's maglev? Whoa. Whoa! That is a fast, fast train. Look at that. Okay. I'm gonna run for this part. Whoa, where am I now? I'm back on the street. What is this area? They've added so much stuff. They've, they've like more than doubled the size of this game. I feel like this has become like a... I feel like this game has like 90 minutes of gameplay already. Okay, I can't use these. That's fine. I'm gonna head over this way. So much stuff. Is that a a horn with with a horse at the other end? I don't I don't know what that thing is. Do I want it? Can I have it? Also, apparently, I can walk up on walk up on surfaces here, which I could not do before. That's interesting. That's just a radial G advertisement. Reduce speed now. I like how they write everything in English and also in Chinese. That gets to, um, there's a common vision of the future that English and, and Chinese are going to become uh, both lingua franca for the entire world. And it fits well with this setting. Interesting car design. This is a tiny car. Oh, and the license plate is a barcode. That's so cool. Okay, okay. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can get down into the next area. Can I just walk around this thing and keep going? Can I just walk over here? Can I get inside here? Man, I keep thinking I'm at the end, but there's just so much content to explore in this game. I feel like it never ends. I feel like I could just wander through this whole city. Okay, I don't think I could get inside that sushi restaurant. Let's try and get over here. There, that green light. That's got to be something. Right? Right? Let's press it. I got inside a new place. There's another environment? This is ridiculous. There's so much stuff. Well, this place is kind of dirty. 
I like how the lighting is always just these three lights attached to the ceiling. Welcome home. May not look like much, but hey, at least it's safe. Feel free to spruce it up if you want. Why don't you get settled in? We can chat after you get some rest. So, this is my new apartment. That glitch got for me. That was nice. Oh, there's a DK1 case? I feel at home already. Another globe moon? I don't know what this thing is. Chinese symbols on coins and a frog. 3D glasses? Just like the one I found Loading in the trash. Lift 3D demonstration. Folks, get ready with those spectacles. Go! Yeah. like her and me, you already have. I don't set like the world Yeah, this is messing with my head. Get it off. Get it off. My right eye is all red. Get it off. Okay, enough of that. Okay, that thing is always creepy. Speak and spell. I like this place. It's bigger than my old place. Has a better view. Check this out. I like that. Nothing in the box. Big chairs. There's another DK2 with a, another can of Jolt, which is apparently my favorite drink because I have my own Jolt soda machine in my apartment. Okay, can I play this game? In my old apartment, I just had like like the, the game system, the console version. In this one, I have my own Joust Arcade machine. I'm getting a serious upgrade with this apartment. I'm not complaining here. There's my bed. That. That's a nice... I don't even know where I slept in my old apartment. Did I sleep on the floor? There was no bed in my old apartment. This one has a nice bed. Oh, oh, look at that PC. There is no need for this. This is ridiculous. Also, I like how they put the Origin branding inside the awesome PC. That's, that's some nice in-universe branding there. And it has a turntable attached, which is very uh, to my character's retro taste. And it changes color. Oh my god. Do you think in the future we'll still have monster rigs like this? It is entirely possible. There's another barrel. With that guy inside it. Like I showed you in the DK1 video. Alright. I think. Tron, Robocop, Hackers. All the classics. Total Recall, Blade Runner. War games. Sure, why not? Alright, let's go ahead and get in bed. See if this is the end of the demo. Let's go. This program is made possible in part by grants from Radio Shack, a division of Tandy Electronics Limited, Digital Equipment of Canada Limited, Nabu Manufacturing Corporation, and the following companies. Bits and Bytes. There's so much retro stuff in this game, it's ridiculous. Alright, it's time to get to sleep. Can I get to sleep here? How do I sleep? No. I don't know. I don't know how to sleep. I don't know how to get rest. This might be the end of the game. I can't tell. I can never tell when the end is. All right, I think I've seen just about all there is to see here. So, unless I missed anything, you guys can let me know if I missed anything and I can go back for it in another video, but I just want to talk about this game for a bit. So the positional act tracking adds a lot to it because there's so many like cool items like this that you can just look up close at and inspect. There's, there's, there's so much detail in the environment, so many objects. And they all play to this theme that your character is kind of a kind of a retro technology geek. And and 
the plot so far has been pretty interesting. The way you kind of had the 3D print the module and then learn about the, the, the hacker conspiracy and get out of your apartment as they blow it up and then you get a shiny new apartment. Oh, wait, wait. I think these things are in my apartment because I picked them up along the way. Maybe that's how it works. As I pick up items, they show up in my apartment. That's plausible. That is a plausible explanation. I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, but I, I love the, the use of video screens throughout the environment. It's very in keeping with the setting, and it gives them lots of opportunities to, to kind of do mixed media content inside of VR. Um, I, I like how they have stuff to look at in every direction. Like there's always something on the ceiling, there's always something on the floor, and, and there's always stuff all around you, so there's always plenty to investigate in any environment. You can spend time just wandering around and looking at every little thing. I hear music. What is playing that music? Is that outside? Let's let's go outside and check it out. Can I go outside? Nope. Glitch has locked me in my own apartment, apparently. That's fine. I, I like the characters. I like how they, they definitely have a very a very clear kind of hacker mentality to them and personality. And and the lighting is gorgeous throughout this game, how you have all these these kind of pretty baked shadows across the floor and the wall and the ceiling. And as well as the the dust effects and the the, the dynamic lighting and uh, and the colored lighting inside the PC, there's just they do a great job with the lighting and the lighting effect with your audiovisual augmentation, and and like I said, the the true blacks are really great for this application. And currently, because there's so much black in this application, they actually had to um, do their own workaround for true black smearing to get rid of it, um, and. That I don't I don't see any problems. Like they said, there would be kind of a green fog where everything looks just a little bit green, but I don't really notice that. It, like the screen looks black to me. It just looks black. I don't I don't have a problem with it. So um, so I I think they pretty much dealt with true black smearing for this application as far as I'm concerned. And hopefully, when Oculus rolls out a better solution for true black smearing, they'll be able to incorporate that as well. Um, but yeah, they've made so many improvements, expanded the game so much, and if this is just you know the the DK2 demo, I can't wait to see how much content is going to be in the final game, and when you start get getting really rolling on kind of the non-linear exploratory part of the game and and picking up more stuff. So far, the game has obviously been very linear, very following a fixed path, um, even with the subway and the train station and everything. Um, there was only one arcade machine you could hack in the arcade, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, but I, I do think that there's probably going to be more nonlinear elements as the game starts to open up in its Act 2. So this is all for Technolust. Let me know any questions you have about this game. I'm just going to stand here at my window and watch the cars go by until I see you next time tomorrow. Uh, let me know any other demos you want to see me play on DK2. And I will see you guys then. Everybody have a great every day. been appointed as a spokesperson for the United Healthcare Consortium. It should be noted that none of the five corporations that make up the EHC have been subject to government sanctions and continue to pave the way for better health care and for the eradication of the